Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Arch Linux and we are going to install Cinnamon on Arch. As you can see, we're working at the moment on our Linux Mint 18.1 with some specific uh, adaptations, Arc Dark Crimson and Sadi Mononumix Colora Vampire for icons, ZSH, and the latest kernel. Let's go to VirtualBox. In the tutorial on Eric Dubois, we saw there is a system to make a base on Arch Linux, so I made it in VirtualBox, and what I'm doing now is actually making copies of it and then install different kind of elements. So we're gonna delete this one, remove, and we're gonna make it again and uh, make the scripts in VirtualBox. We've tested it on an other PC with an SSD, and now we're gonna film it for you guys and, and put it on Arch Linux in VirtualBox. So we're gonna clone first. We're gonna tell the system what it is. Cinnamon. And well, we're wrong here. My mistake. We wanna clone it, not new. So we start from the base, like so. I did do the right thing, I guess. Yeah, okay. All right, clone. And we're gonna take a full clone, so it's gonna copy paste uh, 1.8 gigabyte, I think it was. And we have now our Arch Linux Cinnamon. So this one. Um, next up is, well, booting, just booting. And see what we get. Of course, we get a black terminal because there is no driver installed, there is no um, graphical driver, no org, x org or anything, x server, nothing is installed. So it's up to us now to install that and install Cinnamon. Just to be sure, you should need, you should download, you should install Git. I know it's installed, I'm gonna reinstall just for you. So that's what you need, otherwise you can't get a Git clone from HTTP oh wait, wait, slash slash github.com slash Dubois slash arch cinnamon and so this script the older scripts from the net are on my machine cd arch cinnamon ls this is it cd installation and ls all the scripts you're gonna need, not so many, but you should install the ones with numbers. So we start in 02. If you're unsure if you have the fastest service from Arch for Belgium, for instance, there's one for Belgium, there's one for the world. I'm gonna try this for Belgium this time. He's installing Reflector, which is an uh, application utility, and he's going to ping and test how fast the servers are voila there it is again already and then he's gonna make a list of the fastest servers on top and the slowest servers down below and he wants to upload already and since the arch base has been made a week ago or so we can already update the base installation so we're gonna do just that so we're up to date This is something you normally shouldn't do since you're installing straight away and everything's up to date. But since then there is a, a lap time lapse in between, we can update. And I see a typo, which I should fix here. Me error list updated. Okay, that's the 02. 03. Install xorg, but which one? So since I'm in VirtualBox, it's simple. I take the one from VirtualBox. And now it's up to you to decide, do I have an AT, ATI, eh? Intel, NVIDIA, but that's up to you to know, and then you just run it. You find every explanation, the, the, the synthesis of the explanation, Eric Dubois.pe, and uh, the more profound explanations you'll find on the wiki of Arch, that's where your knowledge should be should come from. Here we have to decide for number two. 
and oops and run by telling him yes so what's this this is x server this is having an image later on so we're gonna need the x org installation and the driver to make an image a desktop environment so this was 03 04 we're gonna install some kind of AUR arch user repository helper is going to install all the stuff that you can't install with sudo pacman okay five is the cinnamon core the cinnamon desktop is now being installed i think it was just cinnamon dash desktop we can take a look later by the by you can take a look here of course now since we're on a virtual machine i'm just going to have a quick look on github because it's inter interesting to know if you press github as before and you go to the github you'll see i have posted our cinnamon and you can actually you do not have to download you can read and see what is he doing in this file so this is the code so i'm going to install package cinnamon and mdm display manager and i'm going to enable it so that's it that's what we just well, we're still running it's the mdm that uh, takes a long time to install it's really compiling yeah mdm so that's kind of fork from gdm so at some point in time they are um, well it is probably forked the, the the project and mdm is now used for linux mint and gdm is used for gnome could i have used gdm yeah sure no problem i want to stick with uh, a linux mint kind of configuration Later on, I will install also the Noto font, which also comes from Linux Mint. The Nemo, which is then the, the Nautilus from GNOME, the file manager from Linux Mint, is Nemo. So, life is filled with choices. That's the fun in Linux. If you want another file manager, be my guest. It's no problem. gonna pause the movie here and when you pause the movie then we are at the near and at the near end so you see the last lines there create the sim link so he's going to link it to the mdm service so fine this is the display manager service is mdm that's what we want and then they say just sudo reboot now, if you're the kind of guy who wants to leave, who wants to stay in the terminal, you can, and there's no problem in going ahead and look at the, the next command. But if you want to go graphical, you can already here sudo reboot and see what this already is. I agree that uh, NDM, when just installed out of the box, is not nice. Uh, it can be much better. So I'm going to install those. Uh, I'm going to log in, I mean. I'm going to log in, I'm running a software, blah, 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 fine. And here we are. This is the initial look when you don't have theming, don't have icons, not all uh, text, it's fonts, no fonts, the cursor. So still a lot of still a lot of work to do, but we are in cinnamon. So we can go ahead and check out what's next. Next is install the core software. So double clicking now is maybe more fun. In the meantime, while it's doing that, we can fix our system. Let's start with some small stuff. We want a custom icon. I want to say to the world, look, I have an arch cinnamon. 
Oops, I have to make my keyboards. But let's quickly write it anyway. This is not the M, this is the M. Yep, like so. So, Arch Gentleman, two spaces makes it look even better. So, we have here the small Arch Cinnamon, the name of the menu. Uh, what else can we do in the meantime? In the meantime, programs are being added, as you can see, Bridge Pit, Catfish, Clementine, those, those are coming from here, from this installation. The software is being installed. This is coming from the Pac-Man repository. So this is all Pac-Man. Okay, package manager and eh? Pac-Man stuff will pop up here and will be added. And the icons are still the high color or the GNOME icons, one of both. Uh -huh. I'm wondering if we can go to full screen. Remember host F. Okay, nice to do that. So we can ah, just crash. Okay, restart. Doesn't like to be in this virtual machine. But okay, we're working again. So the full screen was a bit tricky in virtual box. But here we are. It's running and we are still, I hope, filming. Here we have the sound. Yep, it's working. We have hardware wired and we have a menu. In the meantime, this one is gone. I'm gonna change some stuff around because I really didn't see it end. Did it end properly? Were there errors? It's finished and it closes. So I'm gonna do that better next time. So I'm gonna open this here, this little icon. And then I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna get my keyboard. So here is my keyboard. Where is my keyboard? You have even more icons down here. This is a keyboard, but I'm wondering if it's here. Yeah, it is here. So plus, don't want English. I want Belgian hat. I'm gonna get rid of English, like so. Now I have only Belgian, and here we are typing Azerty. So, 110, I'm gonna install the printer software, like so. The cups. He's asking three times my password. Installed. How about sound? We want sound. Just sure we do. And if you want to have Bluetooth headset, then you need to install the. That's okay. It's already installed. Then you have to install the the boost uh, script. All right. Two hundred. What extra software is coming here? New fetch is coming, Spotify is coming and Sublime Text. All the rest has been blanked out with a hashtag, but you can have many more. There's a failure here, I see. Repository, the build failed, Spotify has not been installed. The, something is wrong, not with my script, but something is wrong at the moment with the Spotify script. Maybe in a few minutes time it's already fixed. It's a question uh, of uh, somebody, the developer, the maintainer of the script. He's maybe working on it, so give it a day or two and see if it will be fixed later on. For my tutorial, it doesn't matter if I have Spotify on VirtualBox or not. I just install it on my SSD and it's working just fine. So it's just a momentarily problem. So that's 200, 300, install the themes and the icons and so on to make it a bit more beautiful. As you can see, GitHub is slow again. Control C and rerun it. And slow again. Wait a moment. If it's not, the speed is not, voila, it's getting faster and faster. So, okay, let's wait for it. This is the normal speed that you get. Okay, 
then the start the icons okay great speed from source forge and again from github one and there we go and now we go to the gtk arc and the snow cursor little little program but a nice cursor makes it is a finish 400 we install software that's particularly interesting for this kind of software for this kind of um, distro i mean i've installed ndm teams here as well i have tried it out i'm gonna get rid of the ndm again not particularly uh, positive um, uh, experience i had to hack it again back in atc dash ndm dash custom conf get code out of it in order to be able to log in back lo log back in so not uh, interesting so i'm gonna get rid of that in the code and then 500 or samba we can skip that one that's for sharing i've tested it so many times it will work and then the personal settings are going to be copied check out this here Everything is now be a lot of uh, bookmarks that has been have been added, and we can't start. But Firefox has has run already, so we can start 700 already. So Firefox needs to be you need to run once because otherwise you don't have a folder to write to. So that's done, and let's now make it a little bit more pretty, like so, and let's go. Ah, so preferences go down teams right mouse click add to panel right mouse click add to favorites move this up here click it let's make it beautiful let's go to arc dark the standard arc dark why not a lot of icons you to choose from why not the sardi orb colora and then the arc uh, dark this one and arc dark so so this is another look but well my eyes are not that young anymore this is way too small for me i'm gonna change the cursor as well here you can set here some icons or not the font is too small, I'm gonna change it to 11 and while we're at it I'm gonna change it to Noto oh my god, sans regular now all the way up, this one select, much nicer 11 Noto sans regular and now all the way up like so same here like so select so the window title maybe window title can be bold for instance um, yeah correct eh? and then all the way up and now you can say, for instance, why not go bold italic? Why not bold italic? Let's try it. So now we have these elements here that are looking this way. I do find to, I do think it can be, for me anyway, a little bit bigger as well. Let's give it a try. So everything looks a bit bigger now like so the wallpaper is really ugly guys do something about it so continue no thank you and then what I do it's up to you don't want Bing ever on my screen unsplash 
that no, that's not what I want, neither is this one. So I only want the ones from Desktopper. And you can download me every minute one. Sorry, every minute I want one new wallpaper. And you can change the wallpaper on start like that. So blah, 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 it says up here. And then you scroll over the icon and that's much better. So in the meantime, we have, we're looking at this here. All icons look normal. They are all Sardi or icons. Everything looks like it should. And then we maybe want, we may want, we may want to use just an option to install also the Conky. And Conkeys are over here. And this is the place where the Conky will be read. And here is the hidden folder from Ariola. And all you have to do is open a terminal and tell them to install and just listen what this has to say. Would you like to install the font? Yes. Without a font, it's ugly. The fonts make dimensions and make it nice. And we're going to install all the packages we need. So it knows when it's on Linux Mint. It knows when it's on Arch. So it's going to Pac-Man or Packer stuff or sudo apt get or apt install stuff so that will be in a few minutes will be there so it will pop up here on the right the other thing we might want it's not necessary but plank is there if we right mouse click here you can do preferences with the control control mouse click uh, right mouse click and then the bottom is not the right place rather have it on the top with an icon to zoom in and one of my hundred uh, transparent for real that's really transparent yeah i rather have it white translucent panel for this time so now we have this here our terminal looks quite ugly as well in my eyes preferences show menu bar no then profile preferences Custom font, yes, too small for me, too small for you to see as well. When we make tutorials and then use the color, scrolling, don't limit it, don't scroll bar, and that's about it, I think. The only thing I'm missing here, that I can't select, I will fix it later on. We can't select the terminal to be transparent, but let's wait for this thing here to finish and the conky to pop up here to the right. There's my conky, bye. <coughs> so it didn't find the CPU temperature, meaning I have, you have to go into the conky file and check what line is it and what code and figure it out in commands line of what you should change. Okay. Um, yeah, the terminal. That's what, uh, what was still open here. So we're going back to the home, to the data file. Nope, not the data file. The R cinnamon file. Let's move it in the data file. So this is the file we downloaded. And in the installation file, you'll find the GNOME, GNOME Gen Terminal Transparency version 1. So run it. It's removing the GNOME terminal, so as we speak now, if something goes wrong, you don't have a GNOME terminal anymore. Doesn't matter, just type term and you'll see you have root terminal still and terminator, so there are still backup uh, terminals present. So, so always a good thing to have those, even if you don't use them as backup. For the rest, do you see here icons with an, uh, an orange kind of signal that means that I have not yet installed Dropbox so when I install Dropbox it will get its own directory and it will be here and it will be called Dropbox and InSync has been created but not yet and didn't run it yet and the same applies for all the rest here these icons here these uh, yellow things i3 is not yet installed on Arch Cinnamon so that's why there is no link to it for the rest, I think we're pretty much set. Oh, 
our plank it will not be there next time we boot. So a quick tutorial about how to start. Make sure that your plank is started next time. Add, choose application, plank, enter. No, not enter, click, enter. And then next time plank will be booted. All the rest is okay. You can leave all the rest. Yeah, it takes a while for the GNOME transparency terminal to compile, but the result will be beautiful. Now this is a wallpaper. There we go. Control Alt T. This is our GNOME terminal. Now we have this little slider in here where we can say, please give me a transparent background in order to be able to look at my desktop. I'll leave the, I'll stop here with this tutorial and we'll move on with other stuff to tell in the next tutorial. Getting out of the full screen is going to be here, full screen mode, because I need to get here. Have fun with uh, Arch Cinnamon.